Welcome to KZ's Garage. Today, taking a cyclone out. Going to a car show, and I'm ringing the old cyclone. All these uh, videos of everybody doing cyclones and typhoons got me motivated to take the thing out. So, I'll see you at the car show. Give me a couple minutes. So, down here you have fuel pressure. Alright. Here we have boost. So this little green light is for when the alcohol injection comes on. And then up here, it's just it's a temp gauge. I have it hooked up to the uh, the for the water, engine temp, and transmission. So I have in and out. And then I have water up here. And if I switch it, I can see the transmission. degrees in and out on the uh, transmission. Let's see the water. Water going in about the same, same temperature. 160, 160. Um, I just have that there so I can see if the thermostat's opening or closing or if it's clogged or whatever. What else? White face gauges. Wow. Pit. Yeah. So, I can't even see them because it's dark. You just still can't see them. No, now you can. Uh, can you? Yeah, now right. I can. All right. All right. So, <clears throat> white face gauges. To put these on, you had to take the pins off and put them back on. And almost all of these gauges over here are wrong. Because I didn't, I didn't get them in the right spot. Ooh. So I'm not, you know, almost, what, 16 volts? I doubt this thing's charging 16 volts. Well, what if it is charging? It's Oil pressure. I'm hoping that's not right because it goes real low. It's good at startup though. And then over here, RPM, and then the stock boost gauge, which oh, there we go. Yeah, stock boost gauge is pretty useless. But I'm gonna put gas in it because I don't, I don't know. It says I have a quarter tank of all gas, and I think if I remember right, I would hit the odometer to see how many miles. I'm at 100. Six thousand four hundred and forty one. That's how many miles are on the engine. I reset it when I flip over the new engine. Alright, we're gonna stop and get some fuel. Right off the line, it's popping, not moving. I get more gas. Doesn't seem like the bed's shaking as much. I think it's because you hit that bump. Maybe it's not going as fast, but the bed is like the bed's shaking like crazy. I don't know if there's tires or something else. here at the first annual car show at my, my kid's school. Anyway, I'm going to walk through and show you the cars. Obviously, first you see my cyclone. Got it out of the garage. Porsche, 98 Porsche. C8 Vet. Oh, it's got a little cat on the side. SS. Nice. GT. Corvette. Oh, it's clean. Thirty-seven. 
Mustang. Oh yeah, I have a 51 mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another mini, big truck, Jeep and two old hot rods. Current situation. I'm trying to get the stupid radio in. I have pretty much the whole dash taken apart over here. Here's my Speed Pro. I took this little plate off here to get behind it, took this off, took the ashtray off, took this thing off. All with this. It's almost in, it's just some wires in the back. Alright, we're gonna get a uh, they're doing prizes. All right, let's calm down a little bit and have a All right, the crowd favorite. Crowd favorite. favorite was Chuck Mark with the 51 Mark Custom. There he is. Come on down, Chuck. Oh, the 51 Mark. Yeah, that was a good car. Okay. Car's not starting now. I messed with the computer, the ECU, and it won't start now. So I'm booting up the computer again. I'm going to hook it up. And see if I can get it running. I was messing with some tables and I must have messed something up. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well, I'm heading back to the school to go get my cyclone. I'm in the in my quadra steer truck, the old uh, tow, the old tow rig. I have the trailer hooked up. Cyclone would start up, but as soon as I hit the gas, it was dying. And I thought, I spent a couple minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes messing with the tune. I was trying to get it so it would um, idle real nice and there's an off idle snubble, I was trying to get rid of that. And, <clears throat> and I, I, shut, I got that pretty, that pretty good in, in, in the tune. And then uh, I shut it off. I went to start it and I couldn't start it. It was just cranking, and cranking, and cranking. It wouldn't start. So I hooked, I hooked the computer back up and messed around with some stuff there. Got it. Starts right. It started right up. I was like, oh, cool. It starts right up. And as soon as I hit the gas, it it stumbles and, and dies. I can rev it up, but it, it revs up and comes back down. And I can, if I just keep going, bro, just keep blurping the, the gas, it will kind of stay running. I thought maybe I could drive it home. Um, I got maybe 20 feet, and I figured out that it's not going to make it home. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm looking, I'm like, well, what the heck happened? I looked under the hood, if like maybe a vacuum line popped out or whatever. Then I noticed my gauge, my fuel pressure, normally at idle, it should be around 40. It was like 15, 20, 15 maybe. So I was like, oh, there's no fuel pressure. And as soon as I tapped the gas, it just, it just, there's like no further fuel pressure. It goes to whatever it's at, 15 or 20, so like nothing. So I don't know if there's a clog, something wrong with the fuel pump. I think maybe there's something wrong. There could be something wrong with the fuel pressure of the regulator. Aftermarket regulator, it's been in there for like 20 years. There's rubber diaphragms, ethanol gas. So I think that's probably the problem. I don't have an extra one, so I'm gonna have to buy one. Um, probably buy two. Or maybe. I don't know. I might just buy a bunch. Which I might buy half a dozen. I don't know. And I'm going to get another one. I'll change that anyway. And then I will take the old one apart and see, what, see if that was the problem. Take it off. See if that's the problem. Put the new one on. And then the fuel filter. I, I can replace the fuel filter. That doesn't make that's not that hard. But I don't know if it's that. I'm gonna start at the I'm gonna start at the fuel filter actually. Take that off first, that's easiest. See what that looks like. And then I'll go to the, the fuel pressure regulator. If it's not that, then something with the fuel pump. There's a little uh oh man, 
name, I can't even remember what it's called. I don't know if it's a check valve or whatever, a pulsator. In the in the fuel pump in the in the fuel line, so you have the fuel pump, then there's a little pulsator. And you ditch that when you change the fuel pump out. And you replace that with a rubber hose. So I've seen before where that rubber hose just swells up and just gets gets a hole in it. So that could be happening. Maybe fuels that that hope that that's ripped and more fuel. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just gotta figure it out. Anyway, right now I'm gonna have to go pick the car, the truck up, and get it home. And I'm on a tight schedule today. I knew this would happen. Anyway, um, I'm almost there, and I will take the video when I'm loading the truck up. All right, let's see. Stay running. Plan B. Strap down. Usually I do crisscross, but I'm trying it this way this, this time. Let's uh, get home. Get home. Don't put the truck away. And head back out. Park and brake. It's Valentine's Day weekend, so I have dinner plans. So I need to hold butt, get this thing back home, shower. I'm just gonna leave it on the trail and deal with the rest of it tomorrow. All right. Okay. That was the car show. That's that was the first car show here at the school. Um, not bad. It was like 25 cars. I'm glad that they ended it early. It was supposed to go till three o'clock, and for some reason they decided to go to one, which I was probably gonna leave anyway around one o'clock. Um, but they changed to one, and that made me leave earlier. And now hopefully I have enough time to get get back home and do everything I need to do before I have to go out for tonight. I want to keep track of what's going on with the cyclone. Um, make sure you subscribe because I'll be doing a video on it and when I figure out what's wrong and I'll be fixing it. I don't know if I'll be taking, taking it to many shows, but um, I'm definitely going to fix it because I don't like having a car sit that, that doesn't run. It's perfectly fine except one, one thing. So it could be three things, right? So I don't know. We'll figure out which which one of those three things it is. Is it the fuel pump? Is it the fuel filter? Or the um, fuel pressure regulator? Put in the comments below which what problem you think it is. There's no fuel pressure, and now I, can, I, I tried starting. I it won't even start. So that's the deal. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye trailer again took it to a car show came back on a trailer so it's not getting fuel pressure I'm gonna bring in the shop so somehow I have to get it in over here and it won't start right now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the trailer backed up I want to get it on the cement and then just roll it out anyway I'll see what happens 
Oh God, look at him, look at this. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is just, it's brittle. I was cleaning it and it just broke off. All right, I gotta unstrap it and see if we can get it back there. Okay, well, I didn't film it, but I got the truck in the shop. Pretty much back and forth a bunch of times to get this uh, trailer lined up somewhat so I can get in there. It's crooked, but I, it, with all these other cars in the way, it's almost impossible. I can't get a straight shot. So anyway, it's in there. Once this is out of the way, I can push the cyclone in and out and get it straightened up so I can get on the lift and see what's going on. But anyway, it's in there. I gotta go put this away. I'm gonna try to, <laughs> I'm gonna try to squeeze it. I pulled it out of here, which is easier than putting it back in. I'm gonna try to put it back in between here. So, wish me luck on that. I didn't hit either car. Um, I heard a scraping though, and I guess I had I had this cinder block right here. That kind of spooked me out. But I I did hit, oh I hit that truck back there. It hit something. It's fine. I just got to put the cinder block down here, cinder block there, and get it off the trailer. And I'm done with this little project, morning project.